Donald Trump's proposal to fully deduct auto loan interest as part of his tax cut strategy targets both working-class Americans and the domestic auto industry, aiming to provide immediate financial relief. By allowing auto loan interest to be tax-deductible, he positions this move as a straightforward solution to an everyday problem, similar to a simple yet impactful invention like the paper clip. The idea is designed to ease the financial burden on those who depend on car ownership for their livelihood, especially in a country where personal mobility is closely tied to economic opportunity. But this is what you've been waiting for, because today I am also announcing that as part of our tax cuts, we will make interest on car loans fully deductible. So a man who's a lot of you people are in the car industry, actually, I met a lot of them backstage. What do you do? I'm in the car industry. But a lot of them. And I told him about it. He's a very knowledgeable person. He said, here's a guy who's done it all his life. He's sitting right over there. I don't want to embarrass him. But he said, where did you come up with that idea? That's the coolest thing. It's like the paperclip again, right? It's like the paperclip. Somebody comes up with a paperclip and everybody says, why the hell didn't I think of that, right? Somebody came up with a paperclip, I guess made a lot of money. And other people said, gee. But he said, you know, I've been in the car industry all my life. I've never thought about that. So we're going to make it fully deductible, the interest payments. That's going to revolutionize your industry. This will stimulate massive domestic auto production and make car ownership dramatically more affordable for millions and millions of working American families. This is a phenomenal thing. If I do say so myself. Who likes that idea? Is that great? This fits into a broader conservative framework that emphasizes tax cuts as a means to stimulate economic growth, boost domestic production, and promote industries like American auto manufacturing. By reducing taxes, Trump aims to increase car sales, support jobs, and keep more money in the hands of individuals, which aligns with traditional conservative values of economic freedom and personal responsibility. The policy also echoes his America First approach, encouraging domestic production over foreign imports, which could lead to more jobs in the auto industry while stimulating demand for American-made cars. For voters, especially in areas heavily reliant on the auto industry, this proposal could be seen as a direct effort to address financial struggles and provide a tangible benefit. Trump's plan ties into the conservative belief that minimal government intervention and reduced taxes can unleash economic growth. Additionally, the focus on car ownership as a symbol of independence taps into deeply rooted American values of individual freedom, reinforcing the idea that this tax break is not just about cars, but about enhancing people's ability to participate fully in the economy.